ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Studio Art. I'm going to be your instructor for the year, Mr. Schwartz. And before we get started on the particulars of this course, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how you're going to access your attendance, your classwork, and how we're going to communicate with one another. This is all going to be done on the Google platform, and I'm going to show you around. So let's get started here. And this is the doc where you're going to be getting your Google Classroom. I'm sure some of you already have a familiar familiarity with this, but um, I'm going to go over a few things specific to my class. Okay, so this is where all of your classes are. We're not going to go here. We'll go to Studio Art. Okay, so there's two main categories. There's the stream and there's classwork. We'll be using each one. Um, the classwork for uh, this is where you'll be getting your assignments and submitting your work. Um, because we'll be working remotely, you'll be taking a photograph or a very well lit picture of your artwork and then um, uploading it through the correct assignment on Google Classroom on the classwork section. This is also where um, you'll you can send a direct message to me through the assignment. Um, you could type it uh, into there'll be a field there. So that's one way of um, contacting me as well. The stream is going to be used uh, to ask questions and to receive answers. Um, I will not be able to be there in person to uh, answer your questions. And even in the classroom, I'm not to mingle amongst you. So um, this is a way for me to uh, answer your questions in real time and for everyone to see what questions you have um, because they might have the same question. So um, you're going to type in your question right here into the field. You're gonna hit enter. Um, I'll be able to see it and I'll most likely be projecting it on a screen in the classroom. So it'll be um, visible to everyone. Um, this is also going to be where you're going to be getting your attendance. So I'm going to write on the, the stream, uh, you know, the date and maybe a question or here, absent, whatever. When you chime in on time and within a certain amount of time, you're marked, present. If you're late for that, you're marked late. And if you don't do it, you're marked absent. Um, I then put that into the official attendance thing. But anytime something is typed into the stream, it's connected to your email. So you'll most likely get an email um, telling you uh, that you got an attendance, something um, that you have to answer, and that there's a question posted on it. So Again, this is going to be how we communicate with one another in this class is through the Google Stream. Okay, so let's uh, move on to this specific class here. We're gonna go to a new share. Okay. Let me move myself over here so I'm not such a nuisance. Okay, so this is going to be how you are graded and what you're going to be evaluated on and what I'm going to be looking for. So um, classwork is going to be 30%. This is um, any work leading up to a finished product, uh, project, product, um, artwork, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this could be any sketches. Um, this could be any, um, I don't know, we'll get into it. You'll know when it's an assignment. Um, projects are finished artworks, the completed thing, and how well you um, met all of the requirements that went into that project, project um, whether it was on time, whether um, you met all of the um, different constraints, which are the limitations that I put on it. Um, the homework is 15%. Quizzes and tests will be 15%. You are expected to know um, vocabulary and different concepts and will be asked if uh, you did retain that information. Okay, so the main things that I'm looking for are uh, neatness and effort. Um, obviously, I mean, we're all at different levels of skill, but I can still tell whether you um, put your best uh, effort into it or not, um, and whether you turned it in on time, and whether all of the um, different requirements, constraints that I put into the instruction were met. So that's the main categories that I look at. And um, again, all assignments are going to, to be submitted and graded through Google Classroom. Um, if it's not uh, well lit, the artwork, the picture of the artwork that you take, 
I may have to take off points for that, or if you don't, um, if I ask you to resubmit a better lit uh, picture and you don't. So just make sure that um, your artwork is uh, nice and well lit, and so I can see how it comes out. Moving on. Okay, so um, these are your daily responsibilities. Um, of course, we wanna create a safe atmosphere for everyone to show their work and to ask questions and to just learn and grow. So um, you must have respectful behavior towards all of your classmates, teachers, and staff. Um, this is online and in person. So um, you are expected to um, be civil with one another, um, whether you're on the Google Stream or whether you're in the classroom. Um, during in-person instruction, if this applies to you, you must maintain uh, and conform to the social distancing um, mandate set up uh, around COVID-19. And this will include no physical contact within the building. Um, it makes no difference who you've quarantined with, whether it's your cousin or your girlfriend or boyfriend, um, and you've been um, around each other all summer in the building. Uh, it makes no difference, no physical contact, and that will be strictly enforced. Thank you very much in advance. Being punctual and showing up to class on time. This is both remote and in person. Um, there's a start time, there's a late time, and there's um, an end time. We do need to take attendance, so make sure that uh, you're on time and you're ready to learn. Uh, meeting all instructions, exercises, assignments, projects and deadlines assigned to you. Um, this is just um, a, you know, at my expectations that whatever is put in front of you, you'll rise to the challenge and um, you'll meet that challenge. Okay, I have no doubt that you will, moving on. Okay, materials and mediums for this class. Now, I, can ask, I cannot ask you to um, go out and buy paint sets and you know fancy paper and all that stuff. I am asking you to, to be able to get whatever is available at a pharmacy. And they have you know a pretty good selection of things. You can get markers, you can get colored pencils, you can get uh, pencil sharpeners, pencils, erasers, rulers, um, sketchbooks. Um, these are all things that are um, readily available. So that's going to be the, the meat of what you're asked to, um, to obtain for this class. So this can include um, loose white drawing paper if you want to just get a ream of drawing paper or um, sketchbook, whatever you want. Um, right. Pencils, erasers, pencil sharpeners, ink. That's going to be important because in a final drawing, you're going to be expected to ink it and color it. So ink, it doesn't have to be Sharpie. It can be, it can be Sharpie, um, but it could be flare pens. It could be ballpoint pen, but um, try to shoot for black. Um, colored pencils, markers, or both. Um, these, these are ways for you to color um, without making a mess. And these are easily obtainable uh, materials. Um, and a ruler. We will be using a ruler a lot and we'll probably be using a ruler, we will definitely be using a ruler in the second assignment. Um, you are also um, allowed to use digital mediums. If you don't wanna use anything traditional, that is perfectly okay. If you are more comfortable using Photoshop and Illustrator, um, go for it, okay? But um, on final drawings and on traditional drawings, there are construction lines, uh, which means that those are the sketches on digital drawings and on traditional drawings. You're going to be asked to ink over it, um, so that you, means using a bolder uh, line digitally as well. Moving on. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something. Here we go. All right. So this is going to be your first assignment. Um, this. Uh oh, I lost it. Okay, so I've divided this curriculum into two main uh, parts. One, the first part is going to be focused on skill building, and the second part is going to be focused on taking those skills and applying them to more conceptual assignments that will stretch your imagination. So this first assignment is going to be a combination of both of those things. I call it the observation to imagination assignment. What you'll be doing 
is you're going to take choose one object and draw it realistically. Um, I want you to do your best to try to capture uh, the shadows, the actual size and shape, um, and get the um, whatever you're drawing as accurately as you can. This is a way to test your own skill level and for me to see where you're at. And um, no matter where you're at, never be ashamed of your skill level. Um, your, what, whatever level you're at is, is going to be great. So um, you're going to start from that point of a realistic observational drawing. From there, you're going to add to the drawing and you're going to fill out the space um, however you wish in whichever way you wish, um, as long as it is, um, you know, not uh, offensive in any way or, uh, you know what I mean? So, um, that is going to be how um, I get to see where your brain takes you, where your imagination is, and um, and it's just a good exercise to um, take something and then take it someplace else. So um, that's basically what it is and what you're gonna be asked to do. Um, okay, so um, these are related vocabulary, observational drawing, value, which is a range of lights and darks, that's a, essentially shading. Shading and form. Form is a shape with shadows. Elements and principles of design. We're going to get into that in more detail in the next video, but those are basically the building blocks, the atoms of all artwork. Contour is an outline. Line and shape. Composition is how um, all of the different elements of art, color, line, shape are put together on, in the space. Balance is how um, is how a uh, pleasing an artwork is based on where things are placed. There's a pleasing way of doing things and an unpleasing way. We'll get into that uh, later. Unity is how pleasing an artwork looks and how harmonious all the elements are together. Um, placement is pretty self-explanatory. Scale is how big or small something is and relationship to something else, um, which is also what proportion means. You know, scale is how um, large or small something is specifically. Proportion is how large or small something is in relation to something else. And range is, um, you know, the amount of something in between two extremes. Your grading criteria will be at least one object drawn accurately from observation that takes up 75% of the page. Um, I'm going to actually change that to 50%. Okay. It doesn't have to take up a huge amount, but it should take up half the amount because we still want room for your imagination. So um, this is going to be changed and I apologize for that. So just make it good size. What I'm trying to say is when you're placing your object, don't make a small, don't make it small and put it someplace like, so you have a huge amount of space. You want to draw your object large enough so it takes up a good amount of space on your page. So go bold, go big. Um, shading is to be expected at whatever level you are. If you know nothing about shading, that's perfectly okay. Just try to tackle it. And then we'll um, learn more formal techniques later on. A creative element has been added. That's the imagination part. And a well-balanced composition. Thought was put into the placement of your elements. Um, in this class, when you compose an artwork, um, which is a composition, you're gonna be asked to put thought into where you place things and to put thought into that the overall composition is pleasing in some way. Okay, and we'll get into harmony and unity and placement and all that in later uh, lessons, but just do your best. Okay, in this class assumes that we are all at a beginner level. You are not required or expected to know how to do any of the steps in the grading criteria constraints well. All I ask is that you give your best effort, and I thank you for that. So like I said, whatever skill level you're at is perfectly okay. I ask that you give your best effort and um, it'll be clear after a while what your best effort is. Okay, so moving on. So that's your assignment and everything that you're gonna need to know to get started in my class. 
If you have any further questions, you can always reach me at office hours or contact me through the Google Classroom. Until then, take care. Thank you.